So in our last session, we have seen that how to perform event emit example in AngularJS. And in this session, we will see an example of a broadcast. So let's check an example which will contain uh, details about custom events. So here I have already written a file's line of code for the sake of simplicity so that you can understand what I have written over here. So you can see I have uh, given angular emits as a title. So right now we will be focusing on angular emits means how the custom events happens through dollar emit okay so for that uh, i have already uh, used this src file and here is my script tag inside my script tag uh, i have uh, declared my module name that is l1 and stored that uh, angular dot module inside the variable desk and uh, for this module i have created three controller desk controller one is top controller another is cntrl and another is cntrl child so these are the three controller which i have uh, defined inside my script tag okay and inside my uh, view that is angular view i have defined this tag div and uh, written ng app is equal to end word so this portion from this div to this div is my whole uh, angular side okay inside this view i will perform the operations so inside this div i have uh, declared another div which name is top controller so it is uh, isolated means it is not associated with any other controllers which defined which are structured inside this parent div means this div so this is totally a separate div again i have uh, used an hr tag to divide these div from one another then i have declared another div with a controller named cntrl and inside that controller i have declared another controller which you can see that is cntrl child and inside that child controller i have created a button whose value is right now click me so right now it is not performing anything while well, user will click on this button so let's uh, expand this uh, code a bit more to understand that uh, what exactly the dollar emit uh, is and dollar on and how to achieve that uh, custom events in angular js so let's run this application and see what is the output which is coming right now so let's go to run launch in chrome so here you can see that uh, inside isolated top controller view here is blank means nothing is right now displaying inside cntrl child view this is also blank and here it is click means whenever i'll click this button something will happen so right now i have not written any code or not called any function on clicking of this uh, button so it is not performing anything for me so let's extend our code and write something to it uh, so first of all i will write uh, yeah so inside this ng controller cntrl child i will write like uh, this is an example for dollar emit so and clicking on this button what will happen is uh, it will call a function and let's call a function ng click is equal to let's my function is uh, my emit so this is my function name and let's pass some value hello i am emitted save it so inside this cntrl child okay so inside this controller i am going to write a function whose name is my emit so here what i will do so here what will happen that emit let like some uh, comment emit the event of and here my code will be i will create a function that is a scope dot my emit is equal to function and uh, inside that i will pass two parameters that is event comma data 
and inside that function I will call emit scope dot dollar emit here I will pass I will write my event name so my event name is uh, send up and I will pass this so I have written uh, or you could say I have raised uh, the event inside this controller and that event name is send up so what will happen when user will click on this button it will call this function my emit and it will go inside and it will raise one event whose name would be send up so now what I need to do I need to handle this event and for that what I will do in another controller suppose I want to use this message in another controller so I will write some code I will handle that event inside this controller cntrl and inside the controller top controller okay so first I am going to handle this event inside this controller uh, by writing the following codes like uh, scope dot dollar on my event name that is send up so directly what you can say see that uh, i'm handling this event which is uh, raised in the controller cntrl child so i'm handling that event inside top controller by writing that event name that is send up if i will not write that name so it will not identify that which event it is looking for okay so what i will do i will simply write that uh, event name then my function that is uh, so in this function i am getting the, those values which are emitted inside the controller cntrl child so here i will use that uh, value inside this controller and for that uh, let's create a variable called message scope dot uh, message is equal to you can write here that uh, inside send up handler of controller my controller name which is top controller okay and let's add let's get that data value data and here it is done so what I have done I have raised the uh, event uh, I have raised the event inside the controller cntrl and I have handled that event inside the controller top controller so you could you can handle anywhere you want the thing is that what it happens that you will be able to check once I will write uh, all the codes when you run this program you can simply check that how this image is working so first of all let's write this only and let's uh, write some code inside this body cntrl similar to that scope dot dollar on and similar to that so let's copy that that's better inside the controller cntrl and what i will write that inside send up handler of controller my controller name cntrl so what's happening exactly is uh, controller cntrl inside the controller here and here is my data and now it's almost done so i have uh, handled the event inside the controller top controller and inside the controller cntrl so now i will run this program and will check what is going to happen okay but as you can see that i have written a variables message but i have not used that inside my view so i will use that then only we can understand whether it is working or not so for that simply write that inside the double curly braces so let's run this program and check what output is coming in our browser launch in chrome so here you can see initially it is blank let's click on this button so some mistake is there i forgot to write double quote 
so now save it and again run it launch in chrome now you can see it is blank blank now click here that is saying click me yeah so you can check here that uh, it is displaying the message that uh, inside send up handler of controller cntrl what it is coming that is hello i am emitted so this part is working it is uh, cntrl child div so let's give a space over here so you can see inside the send up handler of controller cntrl hello i am emitted okay so here it is working for this div only okay so this is my parent controller for the controller cntrl child so whenever i am emitting something inside this controller it is following bottom to top approach so it looks for the handler that is on which we have uh, set for the all the three controller so it checks for the is there any event inside the controller cntrl if it will find so it will go to there and it will do the task which is done inside that handler so when we clicked on the button my emit what it did is exactly it called the function my emit and then it emitted it uh, we raised the event that is sent up and then what happened it checks it started checking for the bottom to top approach so it went to its immediate upside controller which is this controller so it went to this controller cntrl and it here it uh, looks for the dollar on handler and when it finds that handler it set that uh, message variable by this value inside send up handler of controller cntrl and my data okay so this value is now printed inside this div you can see everywhere i have used that message printed i have used this message variable inside my controller top controller inside my controller cntrl so what happened inside the top controller it has not displayed because it is blank for this controller it is not accessible but inside the cntrl controller it displayed that value message so when i run that program what happened when i clicked it went to this means bottom to top approach so emitted is done so what if i will use root scope in place of scope what if i will use root scope okay so for that what i will write i will simply inject root scope inside my controller by this dollar root scope let's copy it and now we'll use it here in emit function root scope in on function so i will simply use inject that root scope in my all the controller in order to use this whenever the emit happens then in this case it will not check bottom to top approach it will simply look for dollar on in all the controllers since we are using root scope so let's save this program and run it and check what happens click me you can see that it went to its parent controller that is cntrl div and it also went to that isolated top controller div and it printed the message hello i am emitted it is just because of because we have used root scope so let's revert it now check whether it is right or not yeah it's correct okay so this is all about uh, dollar emit which we have used just now and now we will check uh, how broadcast is happening so we have seen that example of uh, broadcast in next session we will see how to use routing in angular js